Hello everyone. Today we will see about a disease, systemic lupus erythematosus (SLE). As it is a autoimmune disorder, so as a preamble, in this part mainly we will see what does it mean by an autoimmune disorder, how it happens, and certain theories, nothing but the causes, pathogenesis, types of autoimmune related disorder and in forthcoming second and third parts we will see systemic lupus erythematosus in detail. Myself Dr. Anandas, Assistant Professor, Department of Roga Nidana Evam Vigrudi Vijnana, Global Institute of Fire Rajkot. First of all, what is an autoimmune disease? Or we used to hear or we used to say certain diseases are autoimmune related diseases or disorders. So it has been made out of two coin terms auto and immune. Nothing but autoimmune. Auto means self immune or immunity means resistant to a particular infection or body's mechanism, cell mechanism which will be fighting against particular infection or particular foreign bodies against a particular foreign bodies. So it's a cell resistant to a particular infection or to a particular microorganisms, nothing but foreign bodies which is invaded into our body. So wherever some kind of hindrance or some kind of defects are occurring with respect to this autoimmunity, certain diseases will be manifesting and those kind of diseases we will be called as autoimmune related diseases or disorders. So here SLE is an example of, is one among the example of autoimmune related diseases. Wherever there is a defect of this autoimmunity or the body cannot resistant bind to a particular infection which is or against the microbes or against the foreign bodies which is invaded into our body. We know all these terms already. Antigen means a foreign substance which induces immune response in the body. That is antigen. Where antibody which means it's an immunoglobulin which is produced due to the entry of specific antigen. So, antigen and antibody. These are the differentiation point or differentiating point in between antigen and antibody. Where antigen is a foreign substance which induces, this can induce the immune response in the body. Wherever antibody when it will be produced, it is an immunoglobulin, nothing but antibody is an immunoglobulin which will be produced due to the entry of a specific antigen. So, wherever there will be an entry of specific antigen in our body, antibody will be produced out. Immune response to one's own antigen. Likewise, own healthy cell is called autoimmunity. So, within the body or within the body of the patient, immune response will be taking place towards one's own antigen. That is autoimmunity, self-immunity. The blood cell in the body's immune system help protect against harmful substances. We have seen in previous slides certain practice or certain materials which will be helping for enabling with this autoimmunity. So the blood cells in our body or in body's immune system will help more to protect against harmful substances. They will act as a protecting barriers. Examples include bacteria, virus, toxins, cancer cells and blood and tissue from outside the body. These substances contain antigens. So these are all the foreign substances like bacteria, viruses, toxins, cancerous cells and blood and tissue from outside the body. So this will contain specific antigens. The immune system produces antibodies against these antigens that enable it to destroy these harmful substances. So depends upon the normal activity, normal autoimmune mechanism, our immune system, our body's immune system will produce certain antibodies against these 
antigens or against these foreign bodies which will be contained with these kind of antigens. Thereby, it will be activating to destroy these harmful substances. When we have an autoimmune disorder, our immune system does not distinguish between healthy tissue and potentially harmful antigens. This will be the main problem here. Whenever we are suffering with any kind of or any type of autoimmune disorder, our body's own immune system, nothing but autoimmune system, it cannot distinguish between which is favorable for our body, which is not favorable for our body, which means the cells or our own immune system cannot distinguish, cannot find out or it's not in a position to understand which is healthy tissue and which is potentially harmful antigen. So our body's immune system will be in a confusion against to which part or to which factors it should act. As a result, the body sets off a reaction that destroys normal tissues. So because of this, what will happen? Our own autoimmune system or our own immune system will be acting against to our healthy tissues. This will be causing destruction of normal tissues also. This mechanism will be happening actually in case of autoimmune related disorders. About autoimmune related disorders, what and where it affects or how it will become threatening to our body. Regarding certain points regarding this view like a clonal elimination, concept of clonal energy and suppressor T cells. Wherever clonal elimination, nothing but clonal antibodies or monoclonal antibodies, wherever it, wherever it will be producing in our body, these contents will be enabling this kind of defect in the body's immune system. Wherever monoclonal antibodies or this certain kind of clonal antigens, clonal antibodies, this will be find out specifically over antigens over the MSC, major histocompatibility complex. So, with respect to this MSC or major histocompatibility complex derivatives, wherever this antigen will be activated with these components only. So, these kind of clonal antibodies will be auto deleted with respect to the help of thymus. So there will be a specific process called apoptosis or this cell death. Because of this apoptosis or this natural cell death, what will be happening? These clonal antibodies will be eliminated out from our body. So wherever it will be in an inactive state or wherever it will be in a state of not that much it will be in a position to or produces certain kind of diseases, certain kind of symptoms. These clonal antibodies or these kind of antigens will be associated with the thymus gland. Now, whenever these uh, thymus related cells, along with the help of MSC, will be going with the action of clonal deletion or clonal elimination. So, this this kind of more reaction or more reactivation of these kind of clonal antibodies will be eliminated. So, wherever it will be occurring with this kind of condition, this can be eliminated. It will be automatically eliminated out from the body. So, the concept of clonal energy or clonal elimination, wherever the hyperactivation or reactivation or this kind of suppression is present, this can be considered. Wherever same kind suppressor T cells, the act or influence of suppressor T cells also in this point of view we can consider with this kind of condition where suppressor T cells are nothing but whether certain cells or certain group of type of lymphocytes or white blood cells where this will be helpful for suppression of or over activation of the other lymphocytes. So this much things if at all any kind of defects which will be happening with respect to the clonal elimination wherever still these kind of clonal antibodies are present with the overactivation or more activation within our body where the proper clonal antibodies elimination 
clonal deletion is not happening along with defect with respect to the suppressor T cells will be present. This will be aid with more activation of autoimmune related conditions. So this will influence over destruction of the body tissue mainly along with abnormal growth of an organ thereby changes in organ functions also. So how can we diagnose these conditions, specifically any kind of autoimmune related conditions? First of all, proper and thorough examination is needed in order to rule out with certain type of signs and symptoms. So there are different sets or different examples are there with respect to organ specific or not specific, different types of autoimmune disorders are there. So first of all, in order to find out with the specification or specific area, of the body it should be find out completely through the complete thorough examination. Thereby we can go with anti-nuclear antibody test as it is related to antigen antibody mechanism. Further auto antibody test we can find out whether the production of this auto antibody is complete blood count. Comprehensive metabolic panel whether this also will be contained with the 14 specific test with respect to the glucose content of the blood along with the protein content some other influence of metabolites so here it will give specific information regarding the metabolism of the body with respect to the certain assessment of blood parameters C reactive protein erythrocyte sedimentation rate and neural analysis also will be helpful for diagnosing of autoimmune related conditions Certain theories have been postulated in order to state with the causation of autoimmunity with respect to certain factors like the first one immunological factors, influence of immunological factors, how it is. Failure of immunological mechanism of tolerance initiates autoimmunity. So wherever there will be a defect within the body is happening in order to counteract against the infective conditions or against the microorganisms role of immunological factors will be foremost point out there so wherever there will be any kind of failure of immunological mechanism the immune mechanism of the body is failed to act against certain infections there will be chance of manifestation of autoimmune related conditions genetic factors there is an increased expression of class to actually human leukocyte antigen within that second variety type of class will be causing this kind of antigens on tissues involved in autoimmunity will be formed out with these kind of pathogens. Increased familial incidence within the family if you consider throughout the family or through the throughout the lineage wherever this a specific kind of disease runs from since the from the parental side or from the previous history, family history, there we can consider with the genetic factors also. Role of microbial factors like infection with the microorganisms, particularly viruses, specifically Epstein-Barr virus, a specific virus which will be affecting the human body through saliva, mainly contact with saliva and most of the patient's symptoms will be disappeared in this country. So it is Epstein-Barr virus type of condition and less so for open bacteria. So it will be very less in bacterial conditions also like a streptococcus like bacterial conditions or bacterial affected situations. So these three points whether in the environment of or the pathogenesis conditions, autoimmune conditions, a failure of immunological factors or failure of immune mechanism of, of, of body, genetic factors throughout the genetics if you consider with the familial history and role of class 2 human leukocyte antigens, increased expression of this kind of uh, specific category of antigens and increased familial distance along with the microbial factors, infection or exposure with the certain kinds of viruses rather than bacteria. Mainly, autoimmune related disorders have been classified as two types, organ specific and organ non-specific diseases. We will see in upcoming slides what does it mean by organ specific and what does it mean by organ non specific with specific examples. 
organ specific diseases the auto antibodies formed react specifically against an organ or target tissue so wherever auto antibodies will be formed up due to because of this kind of defect in autoimmune system this auto antibodies which were already formed within the body will react specifically against an organ so there will be specification of attack the antibodies will be acting against a specific organ or against a specific target tissue the tissues affected area of endocrine gland most commonly over the endocrine gland the specifically the tissues which will be affecting with the endocrine gland likewise thyroid gland adrenal cortex alimentary canal so over this area the specific tissues covered over this areas will be more affected in organ specific diseases or autoimmune diseases where in organ non specific diseases it is also known as systemic autoimmune disease another name for organ non specific diseases these are diseases in which number of auto antibodies are formed which react with the antigen in many tissues so here it can be attacked over many tissues with respect to more antigens so this is certain diseases will be present there or this is set of diseases which number of auto antibodies number of auto antibodies will be forming out at present or at the same time and this more number of auto antibodies will be reacting with antigens in many tissues so at a time it will be affecting with the many tissues there will not be any organ specification there will not be any tissue specification it will be acting against many tissues that are examples for organ specific disease with related to endocrine gland hashimotos disease graves disease which we have already seen in the thyroid disorders and second one alimentary tract related conditions where ulcerative colitis condition crohn's disease so these are some examples for organ specific diseases so here the auto antibodies will be specifically attack over this endocrine portion with respect to the disease and with respect to the alimentary tract regions also but an organ non specific diseases examples systemic lupus erythematosus rheumatoid arthritis Poly arthritis nodosa. These are also some examples of organ non-specific diseases. These are some pictorial representation of autoimmune conditions. Like the first one, systemic lupus erythematosus. The second one, rheumatoid arthritis related condition. And the third one, poly arthritis nodosa. These are all the clinical presentation of the condition. so here we just finish a small and general introduction regarding autoimmune disorders so in upcoming next parts we will see in detail regarding systemic lupus erythematosus